Welcome to another segment of National Night Out. My name is Officer Etmanon. I am the Crime Prevention Officer for the City of North Charleston. I'm here today with Officer Hobart. He is a Neighborhood Resource Officer for the City of North Charleston Police Department. And today he has a story to tell about drug awareness and drug prevention. Thank you, sir. So to start off, I'm Officer Hobart. I am uh, from Florida, Pensacola. I was born in 1988. I was raised by my grandmother, my aunt, and my uncle. I live with my sister and my uh, two cousins. To start it off, my parents dropped me off when I was three weeks old to my grandmother because they wanted to party and do drugs. They were in and out of my life. <clears throat> we were in and out of low-income housing because they weren't there, they weren't helping support us, so we constantly had to move. My mom was addicted to prescription pills and my dad was on heroin. Sorry, sometimes it's a little hard to talk about it. So, um, <clears throat> my parents were in and out of my life because of their, their addiction. My dad was in and out of jail. My mom was in and out of jail. They came around, sometimes they were, they were uh, intoxicated or high, however you want to put it, and sometimes they weren't. Wasn't very many good memories because of the amount of times that they came around when they were intoxicated. I remember as a child, my <laughs> mother pointed out saying that she was taking, she was eating candy. Well, now that I'm older, I realized that she was popping prescription pills. My father would, I would find his needles. The house smelled like marijuana. At the time, I thought it was just incense because that's what he said it was. Mm -hmm. So, so to fast forward, my dad was arrested in 2010 for double murder. He uh, killed two people over a bottle of Oxycontin while high on heroin. He was sentenced in 2012 to death row. He just recently got off death row in 2018. He took a plea and he's serving double life. My mother died Christmas Eve 2013 from the flu. Um, the flu and her addiction, if she wasn't addicted to the drugs, her immune system would have been better, so maybe she would have had a better chance. When it comes to the reason why I got in law enforcement, it has to do with drugs. My parents chose drugs over me and my, my sister when we should have been their priority. I decided that I wanted to be better and actually make a difference. So I decided in 2014 to get into law enforcement, and here I am today. All right, so wh um, what do you think the main reason is you became a law enforcement officer? Because I really want, I want to inspire people that they have a choice. You don't have to be the outcome of your surrounding. Okay, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Are there any programs in place for someone that is suffering from an addiction that they can get seek help from? Um, they can reach out to the Charleston Center of Recovery. Um, there's Low Country Favor. MUSC has addiction services. There's lots of uh, programs out there. Okay, and you also have an event coming up soon, uh, do you not, about uh, bringing awareness to this and raising money for one of those centers? Yes, um, we're calling it Wheel Away from Drugs, a uh, car and bike show. It'll be October 24th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Belks parking lot. The address is 2150 Northwoods Boulevard. It's a free event to the public. Anybody putting a vehicle in will pay a $15 fee and there will be raffle items and trophies and all the proceeds are going to the Charleston Center of Recovery. All right, all right, good deal. So folks, you know, drug addiction is a real thing and it can happen to anybody, but um, like Officer Hobart said, he chose to do something better in life and he became a police officer to help out people in need and that's why we're here. We're ultimately here to help the community. So again, thank you for joining us. Make sure you like and share this video for a chance to win a gift card and stay tuned for the next segment.